A Chicago-based investigation resulted in a seizure of $30.8 million, 11 tons of cocaine, 265 kilos of meth, and 78 kilos of heroin. Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey guys, what's up? My name's JC. I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know. Subanse la suburban. Let's get this video on the road. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Wrong is Strong. Hey, never do I glorify anything of what I lived or what I've been through, but I do share my stories to hopefully make you see the truth, motivate you, make you cry, make you laugh, all of the above. As you guys know, I am Ronald Strong. I did do time in Mexico and the US. I did a lot of fucking stupid ass shit. But today, we're gonna talk about an investigation that took place in Chicago. In 2010, a high-ranking member of two drug cartels was arrested and extradited to Chicago where he admitted to conspiring with two twin brothers from Chicago to distribute tons of cocaine in Chicago. We are talking about El Animal Manuel Fernandez Valencia, also known as La Puerca. El 
animal is 48 years old and he pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 27 years or like the feds say 324 months because the feds like to use months not years yeah it's like you try to count after you get sentenced you're trying to count all the months and you're like trying to figure out how much time you really got that's not bad actually 27 years for the amount of cocaine and drugs and money that this guy was making because he actually was someone very very big in the drug game he was transporting large amounts of cocaine with airplane boats heavy ships buses trucks even submarines if you guys haven't seen my submarine video you need to check it out El Animal Fernandez Valencia along with 20 other people were all on the same case that started in Chicago against the Sinaloa cartel that led to the arrest of El Chapo. You know, Chapo sitting in that maximum security prison now where all the big dogs are at. I have to say, and I think, just from experience, that money does change most men because, I mean, it's admitted, money is the ruler of all evil. Because of what I know and friends that I have, El Anima was actually a solid ass dude and a stand up dude that actually liked to help his friends. But it all comes down to murder, jail, and for what? Money and power? You know, I haven't seen too many successful drug lords. I mean, maybe one or two out of 10, but most do fall. Most do get killed, most do go to jail. And that's my biggest thing, you know. It is what it is, and I share these videos, like I said in the past, not to glorify the life, but to actually give you the other side of the coin because it is in movies, shows, series, novellas, all these things, and there's a lot of kids falling victim to this lifestyle because they think it's it's cool. I mean, it's cool until the feds got you, it's cool until your mom or family is crying over your grave, you know? I had to realize that money and power is not that important. And I wasn't even at the level of these guys. You know, these guys are the ones feeding me. You know, you sit here and think, man, you know, I'm big time. I'm moving 20, 50 keys a month where these guys are bringing in tons every month. So thinking about the amount of money, 400 million, I mean, it's crazy. You ask yourself, why would you still stay in that life? Well, like I said, money does change most people and evil comes with that. But you know me. I don't know nothing. My name's JC. I am Wrong Strong. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. Remember, you only have one life to live, so you might as well live it free out here, enjoying life, enjoying your family, and just enjoying experiences every day. I'll catch you guys in the rebound.